Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my first official makeup tutorial using my vault collection. I am so excited that we have a launch date. It is going to be releasing on August 14th. I posted about it on all my socials. I do not have a time for you yet, but the second that I know exactly what time of day it is releasing, of course, I'll post that all over my socials and here on YouTube as well. But I figured that like the first official tutorial using this collection had to be like one of my go-to looks. I really wanted you guys to see like the creaminess and the pigmentation and the blendability of these shadows. So I went all out. I did one of my favorite looks using, of course, yellows and golds and cranberries and oranges and some purples. You guys know that like I want to be buried in a look just very similar to this. This is like just mm, me and I love it so much. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this as well. These shadows are so beautiful, you guys, and I am so proud of them and cannot wait for you to get them in your hands. And if you enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe or even if you don't enjoy it, even if you just like want to throw me like a pity subscribe, that's fine too. You, I'm, <laughs> just subscribe, okay? But seriously, you guys, I really hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, please subscribe <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so as of right now, I just have on my foundation, powder, under eye powder, and my brows, just my base. Because I really wanna focus on the eyes today and the application, so I just did that off camera because I feel like the base is kind of boring and not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the eyes. I'm going in with the Ring the Alarm palette right here. I'm gonna start off with the shade Rush, which is this really, of course, every single color. I'm gonna tell you, this is this really beautiful orangey shade that's so amazing. <laughs> but it really is a really gorgeous orangey shade and it's perfect for the transition area because even though it's orange, it still has like a paleness to it and a softness, so it doesn't go on like, Damn, orange. It has like this like ah effect. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M441 to start this look off, and I'm gonna put that color right here in the transition color. Transition color, really transition area of my crease. I still get questions all the time from people asking what exactly the transition area is, and it's actually a good question because I just always like throw terms around just expecting that everybody knows everything that I know, like we're all on the same page. But for beginners and makeup, the transition area of your eye is the eye between your lid and your brow bone. And the reason we call that the transition area is because the darker color is going to go lower and then it's going to get lighter, lighter, lighter. So this is the transition color and we're putting it in the transition area and this is going to help give that ombre effect as we go in and make the eyes really smoky. And so I just have a little bit of that color laid down. These shadows are super pigmented so it's really easy to get like a lot of color but I don't want this color to be really intense and popping quite yet. So now I basically have nothing left on my brush. Like if you see, like basically no powder comes off because there's basically nothing on there. I'm gonna just lightly bring it into the inner corner and I'm gonna keep it pretty low because if we bring this color up like by the brow in the inner corner, it's gonna give us kind of like a meaner look and more like really intense. And I don't want that for this look. So I'm gonna keep it nice and low in the inner corner. Also raising your brow as you do this will help you keep it low as you can see like that. It's easier than when it's like that, and it's kind of like a sad eye. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna grab the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Sorry, the front of mine is a little messy. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Access right here, which is such a unique matte, like orangey yellow shade, and it's so just like, ugh, I don't know how to explain it really. It's just like, I don't know how to explain it in my words, but like I don't know how to explain it as it's like going, on. I don't know, it's hard. It's just different, okay? It's just a very, very creamy, like yellowy tangerine. It just looks like the sun. I'm gonna put that right over top of that transition area and then tap off my brush so that there's like nothing left on it at all and then lightly bring that up towards the brow. Again, this is just going to help that whole ombre effect on the eye so that everything looks so blended when we're done. And like when there's basically nothing left on my brush, even though you feel like you're not doing anything, you still are. So I just continue to like bring this out like this by the brow bone and it's gonna help give us like that lifted effect on our eye. And I'll do the same thing when I get down my lower lash line, I'll bring it up like this. That way we have like that nice, really subtle cat eye and it's not so rounded. Because when you're doing a smoky eye, if you make the round effect, it can sometimes like close in your eyes and make you look like you've got small eyes or like panda bear eyes. But when you bring it like this and like up and out, you're gonna give yourself more of like an awake, like fresh, like look that we we all want. Now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite colors in the entire collection, and it is the shade Mug Shot right here. It is like this matte, creamy, warm, caramelly, like burnt, orangey, kind of poopy, like baby, pukey, kind of just like yummy toffee brown. Now I'm going in with a Morphe M433 brush, and I'm going to just put that 
right on, but a little bit below what we just did. Just kind of pack that on and then blend that out. And again, with this palette, a little bit goes a long way. You do not need to like swirl your brush in there, like just a, like a tiny little bit and you are good to go. So just pat that on and then begin to just like lightly buff it out. And I am gonna put a shimmer color on my lid so it doesn't matter if I like get this color anywhere on, oh my God, I literally poked myself in the eye. But yeah, it doesn't matter if you're like messy or you like don't blend this area because we're gonna cover it up anyways. So we're just focusing on the outer corner for now and blending that. I'm gonna grab some translucent powder actually right now and go ahead and do my little trick that I always do. You guys are probably very familiar with this if you watch any of my makeup tutorials. I'm just gonna grab some translucent powder on a beauty sponge and just pack that right there under my eye. That way it catches all of my fallout and it'll help to create that cat eye that we're going for. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a little fun with this. I'm gonna go in with the Bling Boss palette right here, which is the purple palette, and I'm gonna grab the shade Sparks, which is this gorgeous matte red, and I'm going to mix it with, I don't know, I think I wanna mix it with Alert right here. This orange and this red to combine like a really maroon slash orangey shade. You know what, I'm just going for it. This is my vibe right now. Okay, let me just tap this. Oh, bitch. Oh my God, this color though. I am just putting this on the entire outer corner of the eye to just basically give it more of like a punch and make it redder. And then to blend that out, I'm going back in with the same shade access right here that we used in the very beginning. So now what I'm going to do is grab a stiff kind of like flat shaped brush. I don't even know how to describe this one because it's so unique. This is the Kylie Jenner Kylie Cosmetics brush in number 12. It's actually like one of the only brushes. There's two brushes that I love by her and this is one of them. I swear by it, it's so bomb. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. I'm gonna grab this yellow shade right here. It's a pinch, woo, it's a lot. And I'm going to just right here in the inner corner of my eye, lightly buff that up toward the brow so what this is gonna do is all of that powder from the eyeshadow that came into the inner corner, this is gonna help like really blend it out so that it's like nice and airy the way it like flows into my nose and my nose contour and my inner eye, that whole area. I don't want it to look messy or sloppy. So we're basically gonna use this powder to just like erase that. And you do not have to do this with like a certain type of powder. Like you do not have to use this palette. You can do this with your face powder. You can even do this with translucent powder. I am just choosing to do this because it has a yellow base in it, and right now I do have a spray tan, so I just know that this is gonna be the most flattering on me. So I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder. You can kind of see it, but in person, I can really see like the world of a difference. Like this eye, this inner corner, compared to this, this one, like there's a shadow that's like, you just see it right there. This, it definitely has like a natural blend into the eye look. Okay, I'm going to grab a little concealer, and this is so not necessary. You can just grab a shimmer and put it all over your lid, and you'll be good to go. But I just feel like having some fun. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light, putting that on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use a little synthetic brush like this. It's like nice and flat. This is the Morphe M421. This is what I use to carve out my eyebrows. And I'm going to take that just like that on the tip of the brush, and I'm going to carve out that inner part of my eye because I want that color to really, like, pop and have like an intense effect on the inner corner. And then we're just going to take that and just kind of stamp it and bring it over into this area. And the lighter of concealer that you use, and you can use any concealer, you can use one in a pot, you can use a paste, you can use the one that I'm using, like whatever concealer you have, but the lighter the shade is, the more intense this vibe will be. You can see I'm just kind of like lightly stamping it now that I don't have too much left on my brush so that it's gonna go from like light, just like fade away. While that is still tacky, I'm gonna go in with the shade on camera from the Ring the Alarm palette. I'm gonna grab the exact same brush, why not? And just pick that up and tap it right over top. So you can see how that looks right there, which that brush isn't even gonna pack on that much, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the MAC 242. This is my go-to brush for all over my lids, you guys know. And then I'm gonna grab a little Fix Plus. I'm going to dip that into the on-camera gold shade and I'm gonna give it a little spritzy pie. And then I'm going to just go right over top of that.
Okay, now I'm going to go in with this really beautiful chocolatey shade right here. This is a matte brown, and this is called Secret. I'm just going to go in with a clean Morphe M433. You don't have to use a clean brush, but I'm just choosing to. I'm just going to go ahead and dab a little bit on my brush, and I'm going to just stamp that. Ooh, yes, come through. I'm going to just stamp that right in the outer corner. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't want to just keep it brown, so I'm actually... Mm, do I want to mix a little purple? Yeah, let's mix a little purple. Let's go in with a little bit of Framed, which is the shade right next to it. So I'm just going to go like a little and a little and just combine those two. Just because I don't want this to be just like brown and gold. Like I want it to have like that richness, you know? These shadows are so creamy! I'm obsessed! And then we're going to just lightly go over that gold. Like we are just lightly stamping. And then we're going to go back over the gold again. I know it's like such a high maintenance eye look, but it's just a lot of steps, but it is easy to achieve. And then just going back in with that gold, we're just going to lightly stamp that. Like I'm doing this so lightly. Okay, so I'm super into this. And at this point, you could just move on to your lower lash line. But I just kind of, again, I just feel like having fun. I want to do something different. So I want to take the shade Boom right here, which is this really beautiful, very frosty eyeshadow. And I'm going to pick it up on that exact same brush that I was using before, the MAC 242. And I'm going to put it starting, oh, that color is so beautiful. Um, starting right like in the center of the eye where that gold is kind of fading off. And I'm going to just like lightly blend that over in this outer corner. Sorry, I'm like having trouble speaking because I'm focusing. Oh, this is so beautiful. And then I'm going to take the shade Lolly right here, which is like a really beautiful golden pink. And I'm going to pick that up again on the exact same brush. I'm going to give it a little, whoops, sorry guys, a little score with um, some Fix Plus. I'm going to dab that right where those two shades meet. Just because why not? So now that I have wiped the translucent powder away, you can see how I have that cat eye right there. Once we go in with the lower lash line though, and the lashes, we will be in a much better place. Let's move on to the lower lash line, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna start off by going in with the shade Mugshot right here, same shade that we use on the upper lash line. And I'm going to go in with a pencil brush that looks like this guy, and I'm going to just blend that out on the entire lower lash do you see how pigmented these colors are like the tiniest amount of product you guys could see the amount of product that i'm picking up it is so small these are very pigmented oh bitch i'm about to live my best this is my fucking look Ugh. I love this eye look. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade Access again, right here, and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of, I'm sorry, my dog is beneath me snorting, and my phone is going off. I'm very distracted right now, but no, ah! But no, his snorts are not my farts, just wanted to clarify that. Okay, so I'm gonna mix the shade Rush with the shade Access on this Kylie Jenner brush in number 12, and I'm going to just lightly buff this down. This has been like my new vibe recently. I love a, I've always loved like a blown out lower lash line, but recently I've been in it. So like, I just think it's so beautiful, but only when you're doing a certain look, like it needs to be like a smoky look. And it looks like, you look like a total freak at first, but it always comes together. Almost every single time I do this, I second guess myself. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Like, it just feels weird to bring it down so low, but it just brings so much attention to your eye color and your eye shape once you're done. Now I'm gonna grab a stiff brush like this, a stiff one. This is the M432, and I'm gonna go in with the color Framed, which is this matte, beautiful, like wine purple. And I'm gonna put that just really close to my lashes, on top of my lashes, actually. Drag that along the entire lower lash line, all the way from the inner corner to outer. So now we're not gonna leave it looking like that because as you can see, the lower lash line looks very harsh and just like, it's like a line of purple. So we're gonna go back in with a little pencil brush like this guy right here. I'm trying to think of what color I wanna blend this out with. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of Alert. I'm gonna grab this guy right here, the orange from the Ring the Alarm palette. 
and crap off the excess because that's going to be a lot and then just lightly right at the base of that purple line blend it out okay so now i'm going to go in with my original palette right here i'm going to go in with the very first shade in the palette which is called in light i'm going to mix it just because i've been in a mixing mood today and if you already have this entire palette then you can mix whatever you want i'm going to go in with in light and bean these first two colors i'm going to use those to highlight my brow bone I'm just really lightly going to go along this area because I don't want to bring it too far down too quickly and make it like overpowering the shadow. Oh, I wish I had a different brush. It's like an old lab sample from like three years ago. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with Enlightened Beam. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of the eye as well. I'm gonna go back into the Armed and Gorgeous palette really quick and grab that very first shade, VIP. This is a very, very white, very shimmery highlight shade. And I'm going to just pop a pinch of that right there, just like a direct target highlight right at the tip of my inner eye. I'm gonna grab a little black gel liner and put this on my inner waterline of my eye to really like make this smoky. You can definitely opt out of this and go in with no liner or you can go in with a white liner or a nude liner or even like a yellow liner it would be really fun with this look but I wanna go in with just a black one because I'm just gonna be real. That's what I have up here and I don't wanna go all the way downstairs for something else. So this is what we're doing. I like going in with a gel liner on my inner waterline more than a pencil liner. I used to be like so loyal to only pencils, but this is so fast and you can see how pigmented it goes on. You just have to find one that doesn't irritate your eyes. I can use the Maybelline gel liner on my inner waterline and I can use the Morphe one. Right now I'm using the Morphe, but they both work to me like in the same way. But you just have to find one that doesn't irritate your eyes because some of them can really do that. But I think that they last so much longer on your eyes than a regular cold pencil does. That's why I use gel. Okay, I'm gonna put a little mascara on and then I'm going to pop on some false lashes. Let's pop this bad boy on. Okay, now moving on to the face, I'm gonna to touch up my under eye because I definitely can see that like some of that shadow kind of fell down. It made me look a little hollow underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm gonna take that yellow shade right there and I'm going to just dab underneath the eye, just patting motions to clean that up a little bit more bright and alive under there. Okay, so under eyes look a little crazy right now, but that's okay. That's okay, we're gonna make it better. I'm gonna go in with the Alexis Ren and ColourPop collab. I'm gonna use this bronzer right here because it's a much warmer bronzer. I'm going in with the Y1 brush by Morphe. Just gonna tap that off and bronze the cheekbones. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it, uh huh, uh huh. I am going to ever so slightly contour my nose. I'm gonna go in with, I'm actually not even gonna contour it, to be honest. I'm just gonna bring like a little bit of warmth to it using this exact same bronzer, just so that it's not totally left out, but I'm gonna go in with a very light hand. I'm not doing anything too drastic. All right, for blush, wow, I am messy today. I'm gonna go in with a little corally, kind of like peachy action. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this one right here. Yeah, it's like a really pretty like, Apricot? Apricot? I say apricot. Yeah, apricot. And we're just going to blushify these cheeks. I like can never have enough blush. I love clown cheeks so much. Okay, so right now I know the blush is very, very strong, but there's a reason why. Number one, I love blush. Number two, whenever I have on like a red, warm, orange, smoky eye, I think that just like a nice, beautiful, like peachy, pinky, like orangey apricot color blush, like a strong blush really is so flattering and helps you not look like you're like dying and like dead with like just dark, smoky eyes. You know, it like really brings the cheeks to life. Also, I am going to go over all of this with um, my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder right here and it's going to lighten up the entire cheek area. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is my go-to, this is the M500 from Morphe. And I just swirl that around and then I just kinda of like smile a little bit and put it over the entire apples of my cheeks and then bring it up towards the top of my ear. And you can see it is like 
a very subtle highlight, but it's so pretty. I'm breaking out. I ran out of my skincare just two days ago, like my um, moisturizer that I use every single day. So I've been using my old moisturizer and these bumps just showed up like poof, drives me crazy. It's like my skin is so sensitive. Like if I switch up anything, I just get texture all over my cheeks. Putting a little bit of that up here, forehead, just to give that all over glow. And then we'll make this look even more natural by tapping over it with a beauty sponge. So this sponge is still quite damp and we're just going to dab over everything and just really press it into the skin. Okay, so for my actual highlight highlight, as if that wasn't enough, I'm gonna go in with some Anastasia Beverly Hills right here in the shade So Hollywood. I'm gonna go in with a M510 brush. This is the go-to highlighting brush, the absolute goat of all time. It's incredible. And just dab that right there. Little baby circular motions up at the top of the cheekbone towards the temple. Oh, we love a good golden highlight. Right now, everything might look like a little chunky, a little like powdery, a little caked. I'm gonna actually drench my entire face with that Morphe setting spray and it's going to make everything come together and look so much better. So I'm going in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist right here and I'm just going to drench my face. Especially the lower half. I'm just continuing to look down because I don't have on any of my mascara yet and if I look up, I'll crease my eyeshadow and I'm going to just dry this off with a fan. I'm telling you, this fan has changed my world. It's like one of those things I never knew how much I needed it or how much I was missing it until I actually owned one and now I'm obsessed. I've become a princess. Now when I have to set my face without it, I'm like, wait, where's my fan? Oh God, I can't. And I'm gonna do it one more time on the lower half of my face. Ugh, already, the difference that it makes. Like my skin, just everything just comes together. It just looks like, just better, looks more better. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna go in with a really nude shade because that's just, that's just my vibe. I'm gonna go in with the shade Virgin by Morphe. This is a Morphe kind of day. Let's see here. Okay, let's go over this with a little shimmy. This is a gloss by Morphe. It's like an orangey undertone with a little golden reflex in it. I'm actually gonna go over that with Morphe Flower Crown Lip Gloss and put that in the center. Okay, I'm just gonna put on a little mascara now just to finish off this look on my lower lash line. Even if you have really, really short, like stubby lashes down here, I still recommend putting some black mascara on because it'll just help complete the look because you won't even realize but your lashes will pick up all the little powder particles from your eyeshadow and it'll just make the look a little bit more dull. And then when you blacken them, it's like everything comes to life. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look right here. I hope that you enjoy. I know this tutorial was very in depth with a lot of like tips and tricks along the way. So I know a lot of you guys love these videos, but those are like my old school subscribers. So for my newer subscribers, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section down below. That way, of course, I'm giving you guys the content that you actually want to watch. So yeah, I hope that you guys love this video. I am so excited to finally have done entire tutorial using my vault collection. I am so damn excited for this to launch. I cannot wait for you guys to get it in your hands and experience how bomb these shadows are for yourself. So yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.